Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinterestinglife.com You're joining me on board good old Narrowboat Tilly and today I'm going to be answering one of the questions that I get an awful lot about my inflatable kayak and that is how portable and how heavy and how small does it go when it's folded up and put in the bag and it may be disappointing to some people to see that it isn't a super lightweight, super tiny package I can start by showing you if I have to, well, first of all, I have to back away from the camera to get the bag in shot. But basically, this is the bag. We're going to get up onto the roof of the boat now and deflate it and wrap it all up and then have a chat and a proper look at it and just really have a, have a proper overview so you can decide whether it's going to be suitable for your needs. Right then, without further ado, let's get up on that roof. Right then, as you can see, we are up on the boat roof and this was a bit of a rush job on this particular attempt. And I didn't quite manage to get all of the air out of it because I was in a rush waiting for me nan and grandad to arrive to go boating. So you'll see later that I can't get everything into that original kayak bag. But don't worry, I've got footage of everything in the bag from a successful attempt. And it's all a matter of squeezing as much air out of the kayak as possible. And all of these little five second or so clips are here to just illustrate this point over and over again. That it's all about trying to get as much air out of the kayak as possible. So when it comes to folding it up, which itself is no fine, perfect science, so you can see we've got various parts, the seat, that triangle, which goes in the front of the kayak to keep the shape while the, all of the kayak's inflated. And you can see there that the main kayak body is taking up almost all of the room. I did manage to fit the pump and the fin in there though, but not the paddles or anything. Now this is from the successful attempt where I'd spent maybe like 15 minutes or so doing this. Maybe not even that long, you know, but just basically squeezing all of the air that I could out of the kayak. And you can see in this clip now that not only did everything go into the kayak, all of the paddles were broken down and put in there. And I would say I had enough room left over to probably put me little buoyancy aids, Helly Hansen thing in there. And it's just the ultimate shame though, as you can see, I mean, cutting back here where I didn't successfully do it at all. But even that goes to really illustrate that that's a very heavy bag, a very big bag, and that doesn't even have the paddles in, which would add obviously even more weight into that one single bag. So it's far too big, even at best, to carry on your bike or anything like that. And it's far too heavy to carry if you're walking a long distance. So I'd say at best it's probably passable for a bus in the right circumstances, maybe not a tiny mini bus where everybody's crammed in. What I will say though is that when it comes to something like this of this size that you can throw it in the back of a car where you don't have to worry too much about crowding people and being able to take it away to wherever you want to go and then probably I'd say it took me less than 10 minutes to inflate it from this stage when I was out at the coast using it and that I cannot fault whatsoever. It's so simple and easy to inflate and the pump is really good for really inflating it quickly. So on that note, I'll wrap things up and say thanks for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos. I'll post a couple of links to my other kayak videos and review and so on on this Intex Challenger K1 kayak in the description below. Until the next time though, feel free to subscribe for loads of boating and outdoors. But really, keep it kayak-worthy, keep it boat-worthy, and of course, farewell!